Fight for the rights of every man I am a real American Fight for what's right Fight for your life This hour's keyword for cash in the multi-market contest is captain. So call star star W-I-N now. That's star star 946 or enter online at 1067thefandc.com slash cash by 920 Eastern time. Message and data rates apply. If you're randomly selected, we'll call you. And if you know the keyword for cash, you'll win $1,000. Again, the keyword for cash is captain. So call star star 946 now for your chance to win 1000 bucks. We're now happy to be joined, as we are every week, by our friend Dave Richard from CBSSports.com. He is a fantasy football expert. <clears throat> expert, Dave. Good morning. I don't know if I'm comfortable with the term expert. I thought he's an analyst. Think... Can we use writer? How about all around cool guy? I, I don't know if experts. The <laughs> are player. you failing in some of your leagues? Or are you doing well? I do have a couple of leagues where I'm one and four. I'm not zero and five in any, so I, at least I've I've escaped the donut, but. Couple of leagues where I'm 0 and 4. A couple of leagues where I'm 4 and 1 though. So and those are the uh, the uh, important the big big right. money the ones big you money care leagues. about. Well, you know, I didn't I did not say big money. No, I you did important. That's all. And you can speak on this. I, I I find that fantasy football, if you're going to be really successful, it's a lot about the adjustments you make during the season because things are going to come up. You can draft an Adrian Peterson and boom, he's suspended. You can you can draft guys who get hurt. So it's making those moves in the midseason that make all the difference in the world, right? I mean, that that is the secret to fantasy football. But the the catch is that you have to be right on the moves that you make. You're going to pick up players off. Like, everybody raced to get Alan Hearns off waivers in week one. Mm. Well, I don't know if that's really turned out to be such a great thing. The guy had 11, 11 targets last week, four catches, three drops, a penalty, not wiped out a play by Storm Johnson. And uh, Bortles' interception that was returned for a touchdown, you know, it was targeted toward Hearns. So I don't know if it's necessarily just making moves on the waiver wire. That's a huge part of it. But it's getting the right guys. Now, we're lucky this week there were a lot of running backs on waivers that should end up having some big games. Andre Williams with the Giants, Brandon Oliver with the Chargers. I think those guys are going to be pretty darn good. Do you participate in the daily fantasy leagues? Just... I do. I, I absolutely do. I'm, uh, I'm pretty successful at the 50-50 type of, of formats where, you know, 20 people enter, half of them win a prize and half of them don't. So I usually do very well in those. The, the tournaments, for whatever reason, I, it's like it's, uh, I, I, can't, I can't cash in one of those things. What about like, he, just like heads up matches? You can sign up for those, right? You don't yeah, do those? of course. Yeah, I could definitely do those and I'd probably win a lot of those too. Yeah, of you course should. you would. Yeah, you should. <laughs> That's easy money. You're absolutely right. Because you're an expert. A lot okay. of fish out there. Hey, um, I got to ask you about, you know, one of the big stories here during the week and NFL Network's actually running now is Calvin Johnson's high ankle sprain. Um, I've got Golden Tate on another, on another team. I'm going to start him. Uh, but I've got Calvin Johnson in another league. Do I start him? No, uh, Lurch, good move starting Golden Tate. I think he's going to have a good week. I, he's pretty much Matthew Stafford's only reliable weapon this week against Minnesota. And it's a shame because that Vikings defense isn't good. And if Calvin were healthy, he'd probably shred him for like six touchdowns or something like that. It looks like Calvin's going to miss this week. He's talking about how he needs rest. And the Lions, look at them. They're a playoff contender. So they would be smart to try and, and – get through this week without Calvin Johnson, maybe even next week when they play New Orleans. That's going to be a tough game for them to be without Calvin, but they might have to do it for that one. Three weeks from now, they've got a bye. So hopefully after that bye week, Calvin Johnson will be really raring to go, and we'll get Megatron back for the rest of the season. Wow. Uh, where do you have Matt Ryan and, and Phillip Rivers ranked in your quarterbacks for this week? Ryan's second for me overall, ahead of Andrew Luck, ahead of Aaron Rodgers, ahead of – Kirk Cousins, ahead of everybody, uh, I think against Chicago he's going to have a spectacular game. And uh, the other guy you mentioned, Lurch? Rivers, again? Rivers. Yeah, you know what? I've got him in my top ten. I think it's hard to sit him. But against Oakland, we've seen him play the Raiders before and not put up numbers because they're able to run the ball so well. Rivers doesn't have to throw. So that could end up happening in this game. And Brandon Oliver could end up being a, a real godsend for that team. Mm. Where, where, you know, Cousins gathered himself – last week you know had a better game has he gone up in your rankings i'm ranking him does that count <laughs> <laughs> i mean we've gone from not ranking him to ranking him uh you know he's he's catching the cardinals at a pretty good time they're going to be without calais campbell that's one of their best 
uh, front seven defensive linemen. That's really going to help the offensive line. It'll help Alfred Morris a lot, too. And Patrick Peterson's going to play, it looks like, but he's not 100%. That's one that might go down to the wire on Sunday, at least he was practicing this week. If Peterson is out for whatever reason, then Cousins should have a good game because his receivers should have a good game. I was most impressed with how he was able to get the ball downfield to Deshaun Jackson. I don't know if we can count on them connecting on those big plays every single week. More than half of Cousins' passing yardage went to Jackson last week. I, I, we've seen Deshaun Jackson have games where he catches one pass yeah, for he's nine all yards or nothing. and that's it. Are... Yeah, he's absolutely one of those risks in fantasy football. Real quick, Vernon Davis in or out? Uh, as of now, I think he's out. Mm, yeah, my team is just decimated. Listen, I got. What about Jork Bell? As of now, I think he's in. Okay. You're such a loser. You got something there. All right, let's pass some of these calls. We got Not a lot much. of people down on hold. They want to talk to the expert, the guru, the man himself, Dave Richards. I mean, on one of these teams, Eric, I've got Calvin Johnson out. I've got Rashad Jennings out. I've got Vernon Davis out. Well, I would just quit. And George Bell is a question mark. I'm sure everybody in your league is boo-hooing for your yeah, injuries. Yeah, right, right, right. You're, you're talking to a guy that drafted Adrian Peterson and Ray Rice on the same team. Oh, 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 yeah, that oh. one hurts. Wow. Yeah. All time. Hopefully that league's there. not very important, if you know what I'm saying, Dave. Yeah, you're right. It's not. Good, good. <laughs> All right, let's go to, is it Thomas? Let's go to Thomas in D.C. You're on with Dave Richard. Go ahead, Thomas. Hey, good morning, John. Good morning, Dave. Uh, PPR 2 of 4. I've got uh, Crabtree, Delaney Walker, uh, Doug Baldwin or Dwayne Allen? I, I, I'm tempted to go with both of the tight ends. I'm just worried that Dwayne Allen's streak of touchdowns will come to a crashing halt against Houston tonight. You know what? Let, let's not take Allen. Let's go with Walker. Let's go with Crabtree. I'm, Crabtree's a risk, too, but we've seen St. Louis play well, or play poorly, rather, against number one receivers. And I think Crabtree's in that role right now for San Francisco. So of, of the guys you mentioned, I would go with him. Thanks. All right, thank you, Thomas. Let's go to Andrew in Annandale. Andrew, you're on with David. All right. Hey, PPR flex, Andre Johnson, Muhammad Sanu, or Michael Floyd? As of now, I'm going to go with Sanu. Now, if you hear about the Cardinals getting back Carson Palmer this week, total game changer, and that's something Redskins fans don't want to see because Palmer, when he's back there, that offense could put up some major points. But if Palmer's out, I'd rather have Sanu. If Palmer's in, I'd rather have Floyd. All right, let's go to let's sneak go to in Sh- one or two more before the speed round begins. All right, let's go to Sean in Crofton. You know what? Cakes he loves, loves it. He loves the speed round. Oh. You just got it. You got to fit it in. Well, he loves the intro to it. Yeah, that's Sh- what he loves. Sean, <laughs> yeah, uh, Marcus Wheaton or uh, Andre Roberts. Well, this might answer your question for you. I've cut Marcus Wheaton in some of my leagues, including a twenty-team PPR <laughs> league. I've Ooh. let him go. I actually think Andre Roberts could have a good game because he won't see Patrick Peterson, he won't see uh, Antonio Cromartie, and he is taking on a defense for whatever it's worth. He practiced against them for years in Arizona. I, I like that he scored last week. It means Kirk Cousins is looking for him. I think Roberts can do it again. Hmm. I thought the oh. talent pool in a 14-team oh, league was shallow. Right. All right, ready? Let's just go speed round. Why not? Let's just cut to the chase, right. guys. Get a kick out of it. Speed round. There's no rationale, no explanation, nope. no hello, no greeting, no um. Don't say, uh, None how you doing? Stuff. None of that stuff. Just speed your question. And then we added a new element. If it's stupid, Dave just deems it stupid. He just says stupid, and he doesn't. And, and we, we just move on. We yeah. move on. We don't even answer. Okay. I, by the way, I forgot this guy's name. I met a guy at Buffalo Wild Wings on Saturday, and I said that I'd give him a shout out because he said he loves, in particular, on this show. He stays in his car. He gets to work right around this time. Yeah. But he stays in his car for the speed round. We appreciate that. Nice. So shout out, although I forgot your to name, to unnamed guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's kind of a donk if he stays in his car just for the speed <laughs> round. <laughs> All right. Let's no, I'm just going to be honest. Well, Jose is actually calling in from Miami. <clears throat> Don't botch it, Jose. Jose, what's Speed up? Speed round. Two, Go. Two of three. Hillman, Sankey, Forsett. <laughs> I'm going to sit Hillman. There you go. All right, let's go to Tim Arlington. Speed round. Standard league flex. One of three. Kelvin Benjamin, Terrence Williams, or Ahmad Bradshaw? Bradshaw. Bradshaw. All right, mm. let's go to Jacques in Bristow. Hey, Jacques. I need... One PPR, either Lamar Miller, Doug Martin, or Stephen Ridley. Oh, that's bad. Uh, <laughs> let's go with Martin. All right. EB tried to set him up with the head. He did. He I didn't, didn't fall for it. I didn't mean to. Nancy, speed round. Go. PPR flex. Wes Welker, James Jones. Welker. 
Welker. Let's go to Q. Speed round. Go. TPR. CJ Spiller, Doug Martin, and rumored to play No Sean Moreno. <laughs> terrible trio of running backs. Yeah, that's terrible. I guess it's Martin. Martin, let's go to Sean. Speed round. Jay Cullo, Russell Wilson. 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 Let's go to Jason. Ryan Clark says he's the best player in the league. <laughs> Jason, speed round. Go. Standard league flex. Tennis Williams, Reggie Bush. Williams. Go to Dave. Speed round. Go. Eli or Russell Wilson? Hey. Eli. Eli. That was close to a stupid, I think. <laughs> Let's go to Mike Leesburg. Mike. Then he got the hay in. Andre Williams, Ronnie Hillman. <laughs> Williams. Let's go to John. Mechanicsville. Oh, bad zing. Well, I'm in a PPS. Points for squeak. Should I start a rubber ducky or lurch? <laughs> <laughs> really clearly start lurch. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. All right, a couple more real quick. Let's go to Matt. <laughs> Speed round. Uh, four player trade. Uh, no, no trades allowed. <laughs> trades no, no trades. Fan trades. Trades if, are not speedy. If the callers were clever during the speed round, they'd come in, they ask for their question, then at the end they go, How you doing? Right. <laughs> That's how you sneak it in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Reed, speed round, go. Pick two. Kendall Wright, Roddy White, Jerry Macklin. I'm sitting Kendall Wright. You gotta start Macklin every week, don't you? All right, let's go to Nick. Start. Speed round. Nick? Oh, sorry, Bishop Sankey or... Uh, Not sorry, speedy sorry. enough for the speed round. <laughs> you said up and you apologized. <laughs> Chris, speed round, go. Anquan Bolden or Edelman? Edelman. All right. Skettlebutts. We call them skettlebutts on the show. <laughs> it's a long story. For what reason, we don't know. Right, we, no, we do know. It's, no, it's, a, long it's a funny name. <laughs> uh, all right, that's it. Drab stopped answering the calls. Dave, thank you again. We will talk to you again next week, my friend. If I may, I want to send a birthday shout-out to P1 Eli Ween, who I know is listening right now and is a huge fan of you guys. Very Good. nice. Happy Very birthday nice. to him. Right. He Happy actually birthday, did a shout-out with the name. Yes. Not <laughs> <out of> the <laughs> <laughs> Dave, thank you. You can tweet him at Dave Richard on Twitter for all of your fantasy help. Read his stuff on CBS Sports com and check out the only Thursday night pregame show that covers fantasy football, survivor pools, Vegas stuff, and more. That's 6 30 p.m. Eastern time tonight. Not only on CBSSports.com, but also through the CBS Sports app. Thank Very you, cool. Dave. Appreciate it. You buddy. got it, fellas. Be good. Okay, you too. Coming up next, we talk to Nationals first baseman Adam LaRoche. What?